Hello YouTube, this is Annabelle56 here and I'm going to be sharing with you my collection of Buffy the Vampire Seth figurines. First one I'm going to share with you is Stereotypically Angel. This was the first figure that I got. Came with a ring, a sword, this stand, and this is the figure himself. And yes, these figures do have a tendency to fall over. I'll spin him around on my lovely cheese board that spins. So there he is. His arms move. Because of his cape, it makes moving his legs really difficult. Okay. So that's my angel figure. The master figure I actually got, um, and it came with, it actually came with two candlesticks, but one broke. Um, I actually got in a toy shop for like eight quid. I guess people weren't buying it because he is so ugly. <laughs> Sorry. But it's true. Okay. And this is my willow figure and you can tell that this is really really early because it's given her a laptop an english book a calculus and look a little backpack with a cute teddy in it this is before willow goes sort of lesbian wicker on us um so there she is and she's awesome okay this is my um packaging for my buffy figure it's buffy summers from the episode prophecy girl which is the last episode of series um one or season one i should say okay as long as there have been demons walking the earth there has been a slayer a chosen one a girl with the strength and skill to hunt and kill vampires and other evil creatures that roam the earth sunnydale high school student buffy summers reluctantly fights off demons by night while struggling the traumas of high school by day sometimes the demons are easier though in angel's case i'd take a rhythmic uh, i take a rhythmacy homework or go to Hogwarts. <laughs> so this is my prophecy. She's not got legs. Prophecy girl. Buffy. Look, she spins. Yeah. Comes with a stand that is utterly pointless because she's got no legs. Uh, she comes with two Mr. Pointies and I think she comes with this and I think she comes with that knife. But Will I'm pretty certain comes with those. <laughs> And Angel, I'm pretty certain, come with this. Master came with two candlesticks, that one broke. Okie dokie, now these are my next season ones. I've got the military Xander, because this is actually Xander doing something um, useful. Okay, and it says on his gravestone, um, I laughed in the face of danger and then hid until it goes away. Um, I laugh in the face of danger then hide till he goes away. And that's like a season one slash season two quote. And he comes with this um, gun. That's a military Xander and also some stubble. Here we go with Spike, who's the most annoying figure ever because he doesn't stand up. And he also suffers from the same problem as Angel. It's the capes. So here he is. Spike, the second vampire with a soul. Um, this is his sort of little base. I'm not going to... And this is um, something that definitely was his, because I remember from the episode. And I'm not sure whether he comes with this cross or not, but the cross does actually separate. And there is a knife in there. Some of the detail on these, uh, on the accessories, is just awesome. Okay. Um, Oz, my main man Oz, my little werewolf Oz, um, is here. He comes with a guitar. That he plays. This is his base. You can also change his hands because on his hands he's got nail varnish. On these ones he's got like beads and he's got like a little baby there. I think he comes with two crossbows and a stake and he doesn't actually have anything written on his um, tombstone. Okay, at the back with all the weaponry because I could, didn't know which weapons <laughs> came with whom is Giles. And um, this is his tombstone and it reads, Devils and ghouls to engage, pardon me for finding the glass half full. That is the thrill of living on the Hellmouth. One has to be... One has a vertebral... Cunocopia of friends. I apologise if I've read that incorrectly. So that's Giles. Some of the detail in these is just awesome. And this is um, a vampire book. 
that you see him have. Also comes with this cute little bag. And here are several of his axes and things because I didn't know who. I kind of debated maybe the Buffy, this Buffy came with this sword, but then it was a bit detailed because Angel's sword is not that detailed, so I don't think she actually came with it. I think it's probably probably Giles. And maybe Xander came with this axe, because I definitely remember seeing an axe like that in one episode. Whether Xander used it or not, I do not know. Okay, um, at the back I've got the Toy Fair exclusive um, action figure made in China. Um, and it is the Buffy figure for this collection. Here she is. I can't actually get her out anymore, so you can just look at her like that. Um, several versions of Mr. Pointy and Knife, but I actually think that some of those weapons are actually hers. Um, this is her gravestone. It's pretty simple. And I really, really, really enjoy these stands. They're so fun and funky, and the fact that they've all got them. It's just a pity that Spike and Oz have issues with standing up. Um, because on the, on the newer figures they've got holes in their feet as well as a number whereas on the early figures they just have one hole like Angel does here and a number there so yeah these are these figures I really like this box best because you've got a picture of the figure there um, whereas on this one you don't um, so yeah these are my Buffy figures and they're now all going to go and be put back away but I just thought you'd like to see them so yeah